I have a question. Who do you guys think today in the current WWE roster, all right, that the course of this entire day had their phones turned off or did not simply answer any phone call on purpose? These two motherfuckers right here. What is up, Heels World? It's your boy Heel, and I'm back with a new video. Yes, my voice sounds like shit right now. Allergy season. It's crazy because I never go through this, but that's just around the point. So big breaking news in the world of WWE with the eight releases. It's crazy because yesterday I was listening to Wrestling Soup as they went live on their podcast with Anthony Missionary Thomas and Joey Numbus. And on their show, they're talking about WWE having releases on Friday, which is today. And they went through the whole roster and their thoughts, who was going to go, who was going to stay. And I wake up today and social media went ape shit, went crazy. Holy crap, this person got released. Why, oh, why? And I'll be very honest, as I'm going through this list right here on my phone, the only shock, in my opinion, is just one person. And that's Damien Sandow. But WWE Today released El Torito, Hornswoggle, Zeb Coulter, Cameron, Wade Barrett, Santino Morella, Alex Riley, and Damien Sandow. And again, when you look at this list, you know, there's some that's like, eh, you know. But let's be honest here, okay? Who did not see this coming? Seriously. WWE, after WrestleMania, weeks after, they go through their spring cleaning. They've done it all these couple of years now, so here it is, and I'll give my thoughts, if I can, on some of them, as best as I possibly can, so, let's be real about it, El Torito Hornswoggle, um, the best rivalry of 2014, no, I'm kidding, um, it's funny, because I was there for Extreme Rules when they had their pre-show match, the mini DLC, and everyone was going apeshit for it, but, you know, El Torito, he was the most over thing of those Matadores, and now Primo and Epic are, are going to come back as Los Boricuas 2.0 or the Puerto Rican sympathizers, what have you. Um, Hornswoggle, uh, he came in with Finley as Little Bastard, won the Cruiserweight title. Um, he was Vince McMahon's bastard son. Um, after that, he started talking. He was used for NXT with the women, um, mostly for every comedy skit. All the kids loved him. But I remember he failed a drug test, whatever, and he got suspended and hasn't been seen since. Zeb Coulter, um, he was with, you know, the Real Americans, Cesaro, Jack Swagger, We the People. So he came back with Alberto Del Rio and Del Rio became the U.S. champion. So at the same time, I'm pretty sure he'll be somewhere maybe for WWE behind the scenes. Because I personally feel that the characters no more, but Dutch Mantel, I'm pretty sure will be get like a backstage scene job who knows right that's my opinion um cameron you know her favorite match was melina versus alicia fox part of the funkadactyls after that you know girl bye she went to nxt part of total divas but mostly seen her nxt and you know what i'm not really shocked i'm kind of happy because now with the whole women's wrestling now in full effect no longer the word diva you get rid of dead weight here, okay? I guess a lot of us were expecting for Eva Marie to get cut, but let's be real about it. That's not happening anytime soon. Wade Barrett uh, is a shock, but at the same time, you know, he did say that he was not going to resign. His contract was due in June, I believe, or was up in June, and WWE just pretty much did him a favor, let him go early. I'm pretty sure he's going to take a break, like he said, but when he comes back, He's going to make a lot of money on the independent scene in the UK with promotions such as Progress Pro Wrestling, Revolution Pro, Southside, PCW, even ICW. Or hell, maybe in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Can you imagine Wade Barrett in New Japan, part of the G1 Climax? I'm just saying, all right? Imagine him versus Okada or him versus um Naito, or him versus Tanahashi. Shut up and take my fucking money. Santino Morella, he was gone for a while. I think he retired from his neck injury, and you know, it sucks, but that's the way of the business. And again, I think his contract was due later on this year, and WWE did him a favor and let him go, you know, sooner, if you will. But yeah, it happens, you know. Alex Riley, someone that had potential, and then, you know, I guess an argument with Cena, and there you go, went away. And as of late, he made a jackass out of himself on social media, not even on WWE television, trying to go at it with the Solo Monster. I'm pretty sure now, since Alex Riley is released from WWE, he no longer needs a permission slip to be on the Solo Monster's show, and they can go at it. Imagine that. I'm just saying, right? I think all of us want to see that now, right? But that's just around the point. And then 
the big shock of them all, Damian Sandow. I know a lot of people went crazy about this. It's bullshit. It's not right. Someone who had a lot of potential. Someone that got over with the people from his beginning on the main roster. The intellectual savior of the masses to Damian Mizdow. Whatever you gave him, he made it work. And people loved it. You know, but at the same time, the way I look at it too is if you're not going to use any of these people, why bother still having them? You know, so at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure now he's free. And I guarantee you, someone like Sandow is going to make a lot of money on the independents. Everyone on this list, maybe with the exception of Zeb Coulter because of his age, or maybe even Cameron, everyone else here, I guarantee you, is going to make a lot of money on the independents right now. I can see someone like Damien Sandow, maybe in Ring of Honor, maybe even in TNA. But I do hope, though, if he does go to TNA, that they don't put the rocket ship up his ass. If you're going to put him in TNA, give him a slow build, you know, let him have a couple matches, and then eventually put a title on him. You know what I mean? But again, time will only tell. But at the same time, I would love to see Damien Sandow on the independents right now. I'm pretty sure a lot of these independent promoters out there right now are going out of their way to call all these people up, book them on their show. To my understanding, Hornswoggle and Zeb Coulter are both booked for Russell Pro. But again, it sucks, but that's the way of the business. Drop me your comments down below with your thoughts on all these releases. What do you see happening with all these guys? And a lot of fun stuff. Follow me on Twitter at HeelSteven. Make sure you like all my videos. And as always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Until next video, I'm Heel Steven, signing off. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.